Just another morning with Trucker Josh. Diesel, you're loud. Can't catch me, I'm too fast. Chevy, what you got? I got your paws, I got your paws, I got your paws. <laughs> Good morning, Wiener. Are the big guys scaring you with all their rough play? We're going to the city today, again. But this time, it's mostly for Josh. I'm getting cracked too, but Josh is having some back issues, so we're gonna get him crack a by my chiropractor, because I trust him, with my life. Well, with my neck, so could kill me if you wanted to. So this guy in his pajamas all the time, he, uh, oh my. Mr. Pajamas. <laughs> That's a nice dance. Uh -huh. Anyways, his back's really been bugging him, even though you yeah. can't tell right now. It hurts. So we're gonna get him fixed today, hopefully. Well, my back fixed, we're not getting me fixed. No, no. Just clarifying. One day we're gonna get this fixed. Inside? The insides. You ready? I'm ready. I wouldn't be doing that. Gonna create more damage before you even see him. Well, good thing we're going there to get it fixed. Why, you may be asking, is Josh holding a cookie? Well, it's not for him. Unfortunately. This is a live trap. We've got to get rid of Poppy because she is destroying our yard and now she's growling at the dogs. <laughs> so we don't know if a cookie's gonna work, but we certainly hope so. But as soon as she goes for it, we got her. And yep. we're gonna bring her way out into the forest far away from here and she can make a new home before winter. Totally humane though, won't hurt her at all. But she's gotta get off our yard because we're sick of her. Trespassing. Yeah, she's not even paying rent. So we got a live trap from her dad and stepmom. Yeah, they're lending us the live trap to relocate Poppy. At least we didn't have to buy it. Cause I mean like a, a bullet's pretty cheap. But it is. But we gotta use for free. So technically this is the cheaper option. And the reason that we're using a cookie is because that's how my dad caught a massive skunk last year. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't know if it'll work with the groundhog, but check this, out this new den. This is her new entrance over here. She dug this out in only a couple of days, so you can imagine the kind of damage she can do to our yard. And then there's another little one the emergency back over, here. over there. And this is where she was yelling and growling at Frankie and Chevy the other day. So put it in the bush here, kind of make it seem like it's part of her natural habitat. Don't know if it's going to work. I don't know. I would put it more like kind of where your, le your foot is there. I want the back to be against that. Oh, so it looks like she's crawling kind of into some forest. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Somewhere in here I think would be the best. Because it's right between her two her two entrances. Right. She should be able to smell that. I don't know if she likes cookies or not. If well, she let's... doesn't like cookies, I don't trust her even more and I don't trust her now. <laughs> let's hope she likes my Christmas baking as much as you did. Good thing we had some leftovers. A... I could have eaten that. What a waste of a cookie. So we're hoping by the time we get back, Poppy's in that trap and we can bring her out onto a forest somewhere around here. I'm far away from here. Fingers crossed. Yeah, I'm really hoping that she doesn't have babies, but I haven't seen any signs of babies. So let's hope. I'd really like to get her out of here because now that she's growling at Frankie and stuff, I'm not scared for the big guys. I'm scared for the little guy because he's pretty vulnerable to a lot of the elements out here. Let's go.
then I got adjusted too, got the old neck crackalacked, and he got my shoulder real good. It already feels a little bit better. Still a little bit tender, but I think I'm gonna sleep a lot better tonight. We're on a mission to find a greenhouse. We tried to find one off the highway and they still have the big sign up. The greenhouse isn't even there anymore. And Google says that it's open. I don't get it. I don't get it. But now we are going to, what's it called, Ron Paul? This is a gravel road though. Oh, but it's oiled. Okay, it doesn't look too dusty. It's okay, that's what car washes are for. But it's already so clean. I know. Well, there's bug guts on the window. Anyways, we're going to Ron Paul or Paul's? Ron Paul's Ron on Paul. St. Mary's Avenue, south of the front. Yeah, Josh says that he's driven by it before and it looked pretty big, so go check it out because we know how much I love greenhouses. Look at this house. Oh my, that would look way better on our property. This is why I wanted to take this route. I didn't know it wasn't paved because these are all quite rich folks that live here. They have very nice homes. I thought for sure they'd have a paved I bet road. you their taxes are super high. Poor guys. And no paved road. I bet they get garbage pickup though. They're inside the floodway too, so they get flood protection. Ooh, this is a nice house too. Beautiful homes. I love house hunting. I'm never actually going to buy any of them, but I like looking at, like, getting ideas for our home. We plan on redoing quite a bit on our home over the years. Wow. Oversized garage. I like Two. the landscaping. They had six garages. Six garage spaces. Oversized garage spaces. Those are called toy boxes, if you ask my dad. Six toy boxes. Big ones with big doors. You can fit a full lifted pickup in there. I found my dream house. Honey, get it for me. Wow. Look, it's like old Victorian style, country porch, porch swing. It's got that little thing on top of the roof too. The weather vane. Ah, oh, all the embellishments <coughs> on the porch. I know that we can make our house look pretty awesome, but not that awesome. I want a two or three story. That'd be nice. Where's this house? They just planted new lawns. I like that too. Such a neat neighborhood. Love it. It's a brand new neighborhood. Must have just come up in the last couple of years. We found Ron Paul Garden Center, but apparently all down there, there's three other nurseries. So we're gonna go look at some plants. Coolest flower pots ever. I want them all. These are so pretty, they almost look fake. How can nature make something so perfect? I like these flowers, they're my favorite. The spiky ones. <laughs> I think those are the dried out ones, call me crazy. Not supposed to be like that? I don't think so. I want, I want those ones. I want ones that grow like that. You're weird. Nursery number two. Lacoste Garden Center. They have a lot of ads on the radio, so they're a lot more popular. I hope they don't disappoint us like the last. Everything in Ron Paul looked a little bit brown and sad and looked like it needed a home, but I couldn't take it because it didn't look good. I felt bad for those plants. They look so dry. This is a much more famous. Their quality will be better, I think. Like she was saying, they have very memorable ads on the radio. Oh, I've been singing it to them over and over. I'm gonna sing it for them. We'll show you the way to grow. You're welcome. We should have just got married here. <laughs> it would have been a lot cheaper. It's beautiful. Yeah, this place is a heck of a lot nicer than the last one we were at. And there's even real birds, not fake bird sounds. Yeah. Beautiful crotons. And Josh is in love with all the hanging baskets. We're gonna get some of those next year when we put up some brackets. Well, that's neat. I think you just grow and just sort of like. It might, yeah. It's quite pretty. I like red. I noticed. And that's the one color I'm not keen on. <laughs> That's okay, I'll incorporate some red for you next year for sure. 
You'll never guess what we did. We bought another bromeliad. I already have a yellow one of these that I don't think I've shown you guys yet in the living room. Josh picked this one. She's mine. We got to go get her a pot though. We have two more nurseries left to check out. How many plants do you think we're going to leave with? I don't know. I can't say. We were going to leave with none, but here she is. She's gorgeous. She is. My husband's a plant guy now. A little bit. I got a little, a little bit rubbed off on me. Now you need to go home and change the oil. Yeah, I got to go change the oil and change a few tires and take an engine apart. Lift some weights. Lift some weights. Eat steak. Eat some steak. Yes. <laughs> Manly. Make up for this. St. Mary's on St. Mary's. It's another greenhouse, number three. Check out this interesting curb appeal they got going on. All this, I don't know if they're grapes. Looks like grapes. They have them right by all the parking spots. It's so cool. That's curb appeal and creative. Found another pot in our color. We also found something fun. Apple pie syrup, just a little one, and black and raspberry syrup. Perfect for on ice cream. I'm putting it on ice cream. That's right. I forgot to bring you guys in with us. I do apologize. You missed a giant nutcracker and giant garden gnome. Josh made a friend. They were my friends. And giant koi fish. Yeah, they stank though. Yeah, they're gross. They freak me out. They're all fishy and stuff. We are officially skipping nursery number four because it's raining. It's starting to get a little, a little humid out there, a little wet. And I'm made of sugar, so I might melt. Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing at that joke? Trying to say something? Back home here. And Chevy ate at record speed. Look at that empty bowl. Frankie, you always do. Diesel savoring every morsel. Good boy. I just finished potting. We call her Moana. Because she kind of looks Hawaiian. She's tropical. So put her in a plain pot because there's red and white and there's a lot of that in this kitchen so far-ish, kind of. <laughs> and I gave Maui, my other bromeliad, the new pot. I've also learned something new about these flowers today. You are not supposed to water the soil. That will rot the plants because they do not get their nutrients from their roots. They get them from these cups and the flower grows up and out and out and out and out. It takes about one to three years for them to reach maturity, about two feet tall. Um, and then they flower once and they die. So apparently this is not the flower, these are just leaves. Either way, really cool yellow, so I'm happy with it. But, and they like to be restricted with roots because they don't need moist soil. So yeah, you just water them on top and then the cups here, they kinda, the water disperses down and into the bottom cups. It's really neat. So I've learned some stuff today. I see the husband has started the fire. Did you use an egg carton like I said? Babe? Did you use an egg carton? No. Just a fire starter? Yeah. Waste of money. Egg cartons are free. Well, technically, you gotta buy the eggs. Well, yeah, but the carton part's free. And uh, the only thing that we caught today were ants. Looks like nobody else went for the cookie. Sigh. Oh, this is what we're tearing apart. I thought we were getting the pallets over there. Start on this lean-to, it's collapsing on itself in there. The yeah, room. and we've never used it for anything. It was used for dogs by past owners, but not us. We're more of like a dogs in the house kind of people. <laughs> it looks shabby. It does. It down. Wow, the mosquitoes are intense out there this year. Last two years, we've had next to no mosquitoes, but this year, they're wicked, they're coming back with a vengeance. So I had to come inside and I brought in all the boys because they were being eaten alive too. Not sure I have any blood left in my body. <laughs> Anyways guys, I know today's vlog was super random, full of a bunch of stuff, but that's usually how mine and Josh's days go. Nothing too exciting, but we get stuff done 
and it's kind of all over the map, but we're happy that you guys join us. So thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.